five people have died and 35 others have developed a rare and non-contagious fungal meningitis across six states. Uh, the first case was reported from a, a patient who had received an injection in a pain clinic in Tennessee and the investigation proceeded from there. The suspected source of the contaminated vials comes from this specialty pharmacy, the New England Compounding Center, which voluntarily shut down production. Inspectors from the Food and Drug Administration found fungus growing inside sealed containers of the steroid. The medication then was recalled by the company that produced it. The problem is, it's been shipped to 23 states around the country since this past July. The company distributing the methylprednisolone acetate, or by brand name, Depomedrol, has recalled three lots. That's nearly 18,000 single-dose vials. In New York City, Dr. Dan Richmond, an anesthesiologist for 22 years, says he has never seen or heard of anything like this. He injects steroids like this all the time, and if the medicine was contaminated, a nurse or doctor would never know. If you have something as uh, contagious as uh, the fungus aspergil, uh, aspergillus that was injected, uh, that can get into the spinal canal and into the meninges, which is the covering uh, of the uh, spinal cord, and uh, into around the spinal fluid and develop meningitis, which is a severe in infection. And a severe problem that many patients fear, like Richard Jenkins, an 81-year-old Korean War vet and former judge here in Nashville, Tennessee. He had three of the steroid injections in his back from St. Thomas Hospital. It's a facility that received 2,000 of the single-dose vials. Richard's last injection was nearly a month ago. The hospital called to see how he was feeling, but never mentioned the meningitis outbreak. In fact... The reason I knew about the, the meningitis is what I read in the paper, you know. And, uh, and of course, we, we, we followed up on that by calling the center, you know. Uh, my wife did. She was really upset, you know, with it. According to Jenkins, they told him that if he had any of the symptoms, he should come in. Those include headache, dizziness, nausea, and fever, none of which he has experienced. So it's possible we might identify more cases in the coming days. The time from infection to onset of symptoms is anywhere from a few days to a month. And according to health officials, there are many people who have not fallen ill yet. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Nashville.